Imagine the challenges we would face without technology in this modern era. What kind of life would we have? Technology is an integral part of our everyday lives, accomplishing even trivial actions. Without it would be very difficult in today's dynamic world. Technology is indeed realized through a careful combination of skills, methods and processes. Collectively, these aspects are used in the production of goods or to accomplish goals. The development of new technologies at most helps save lives and at least contributes to making the world a better place. Oh, greetings, Merry Christmas and welcome to another edition of Bazaar, the programme devoted to the market and economic dimensions of our lives. Market growth, profits, domestic and global markets, all sorts of things that connect us nationally and internationally. In this edition, we will explore Iran's technology industry and check out its activities both domestically and on a global scale. Let's enter today's Bazaar. begin at a company that goes by the name Electropake. It was first established over three decades ago in the Iranian capital Tehran. Since 1987, it has grown into a well-established brand name for entry access control systems. بحث الکترونیک و فلزات رو از هم تفکیک کرده و یه شرکت دیگه زیر مجموعه الکتروپک تشکیل شد به نام شرکت یوتا که سازنده سیستم های در از سیستم های بازکن درب های پارکینگی و درب های منزل در های ورودی هست که استران جک های پارکینگی میگن و قفل های برقی this company manufactures apartment intercom systems, automatic gate systems, and doorbells, among other things. But the products don't stop there. They also produce auxiliary electronic devices, such as swing gate operators, electrical locks, and lighting sensors. Masulat Electropec is made from the whole thing, from the two parts. دو قسمت اصلی صوتی و تصویری یعنی ما گوشی ها و سیستم های صوتی داریم فقط سیستم های صوتی تصویری داریم سیستم های صوتی اونم دو قسمت دارن قسمتی که حالا توی خط تولید اگر ببینید قسمتی که سفر رو تولید میکنن صفحه اون قسمتی که دم در قرار میگیره که اصطلاحا توی بازار میگن دم دری یا صفحه دم در منزل که شاسی ها هستش قسمت بعدیش هم قسمت تولید گوشی های صوتی This innovative company was one of the first firms in Iran to manufacture a video intercom system with touch and sensory capabilities. This manufacturing company has three production facilities, each with a footprint of about 10,000 square feet. These factories are the beating heart of the company, where production, distribution and technical support services take place. The company's headquarters are located in Tehran. Collectively, this firm has 33 years of experience designing and building technology solutions for the real estate industry. As a technology, we have a need for the company to have a company that can be able to get the knowledge. If we have this, it is much better than the company. We are not much better than the company. We are not much better than the company. We are much better than the company and the company and the technology of the company. One of Iran's biggest assets happens to be its highly educated and skilled workforce. Iran has a population of around 82 million people. This country is full of highly qualified youths between the ages of 25 and 40. These people are the masterminds that speed up innovation. Electropake has somewhere around 500 people in its workforce. It employs hard-working and talented engineers, designers, customer success managers and marketers. It also provides a large amount of job opportunities indirectly through agencies, installation services and sales. The company serves a wide range of individuals and businesses across the country. 
This organization has a broad team of designers and technical support. With the growth of technology, understanding the unique requirements of each client becomes paramount. This is why product innovation in tandem with a strong focus on research and development is a vital component in this company. طبق پروسه ما الان در حد این هستش که میتونیم از فکرش تا خلقش ما یک محصول میتونیم کامل تو خود شرکت طراحی و تولید کنیم. از محصولات هم که این کارو کردیم محصولات رندا هستش، محصولات محصول 797 هستش که طراحی بدنه و از طراحی بدنش توسط یک شاید کارشناس خیلی معمولی شروع شد و یک کار خیلی جدی شکل گرفت که الان هم تو بازار خیلی طرفدار داره. In tech firms, what brings a competitive edge is the ability to provide fast and reliable services such as after-sales customer relations. The products must also meet domestic standards as well as international standards of quality performance. Plus, products must match the necessary safety standards. For smaller companies, a series of renewable permits help them meet national regulations. توی داخل نسبت به همکارای دیگمون این هستش که ما اولا که ما اولین فکر میکنم اولین خدمات خدمات پس از فروشی رو ارائه دادیم توی ایران که هزینه یه رفت آمد هم نمیگیریم بقیه هم خدمات میدن اونا تا 36 ما خدمات میدن ولی ما تا 72 ماه حتی رندامون و قفل زنجیری اونو تا 72 ماه چون واقعا خراب نمیشه و رندارم به خاطر اینکه باز از نظر طراحی و دانش همه چی دست خود اون هست اونم تا 60 ماه گارانتی میدیم که این مزیت های رقابتی که هستش که فعلا به هر حال نسبت به محصولات خارجی توی ایران یه همچین چیزی محصولات خارجی نداره یعنی اگه محصولات خارجی هم وارد میشن مطمئنا اینقدر خدمات رو نمیتونن بدن This company has acquired many standardization licenses and received numerous national awards for the quality of its products But in order to maintain its international competitiveness, it has also acquired necessary certifications, ensuring they meet international standards. ما از استانداردی که ما داریم استاندارد ایزو نوزاری یک همون آیام سود داریم ما که ایزو نوزاری یک دزار و پوساس سود داریم. Not too long ago, many of the items that Electropaque now manufactures were imported. Bringing in these items from abroad was both costly and difficult. Due to the United States sanctions on Iran, providing customers with after-sales services was increasingly more difficult for foreign companies. Many of them simply gave up. The result was that companies such as this one were able to supply the domestic demand for modern security systems during Iran's construction boom. <laughs> ولی خب بحث خود تحریمی بیشتر به نظر من یا لا اقل برای ما خود تحریمی بیشتر هست چرا که ما جنس رو میرسونیم به گمرک به موقع میرسه حتی چند چند ماه زودتر به گمرک میرسه حد پرداختای ریالیش هم میشه متاسفانه ما نمیتونیم اون جنس ها رو به موقع به خط هم برسونیم و خیلی وقتا ما داریم توقف خط داریم بیشتر وقت علتش هم نرسیدن جنس نه از اون طرف نرسیدن جنس از گمرک به شرکت In addition to delivering on local demands, this company also previously exported some of its products to neighboring countries. توی منطقه که حرف اول میزنیم یعنی ما حتی با چینیا رقابت میکنیم در بازکنای چینی تو ایران نتونستن حرکتی بکنن در رابطه با بحث شرکت های قوی تر شرکت هایی که اروپایی هستن خب مطمئنن ما از نظر عمل کرد که هیچ فرقی نمی کنیم شاید عمل کردهایی داریم که بومی سازیش کردیم و خیلی هم بهترم شده ما حتی تو صادرات داشتیم به کشور لبنان که اونجا ما گوشی های صوتیمون خیلی بهتر از گوشی های ایتالیایی جواب داد به گفته خود نماینده یکی از شرکت های ایتالیایی It might be interesting to know that Iran has a large market for home and office appliances. The Ministry of Industry, Mining and Trade says Iran has a production capacity of up to 20 million units of home appliances annually. The production of these items has increased by 10% in comparison with 2019. Officials predict the country will be a major exporter of home appliances next year. 
The knowledge for manufacturing home appliances has been indigenized by local companies. Now, up to 70% of these items can be locally produced. Nearly 9 million devices were produced in the country last year. But that is barely even 50% of the entire industry's potential. Figures from Iran's Customs Administration show just under $140 million worth of home appliances were exported in the first half of 2020. Refrigerators, washing machines and television sets were among the top items exported during this time. These products were shipped off to Iraq, Oman and Italy, among many other countries. Officials at the Ministry of Industry, Mining and Trade say there is no shortage of home appliances in the country. Iran's electronics technology industry is not just limited to developing home appliance technologies. There is a whole world of technology being produced in Iran right now. The country has made remarkable advances in science and technology through education and training. The nation ranks second in the world for scientific growth. Along with it, the technology sector is expanding quickly, particularly with the support of the government. I bet you didn't know that much about this side of Iran. Leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, has called for the advancement of a knowledge-based economy. This also brought much support for domestic high-tech firms. Knowledge-based tech firms were able to benefit from special tax exemptions and financial incentives. Also, the government implemented laws banning imports of products whose equivalents were produced domestically. As of 2014, 36 science and technology parks hosting more than 3,600 knowledge-based tech companies are operating in Iran. These firms have directly employed more than 24,000 people. Plus, Iran is projected to increase the share of research and development in its gross domestic product in the near future. Despite these huge strides, the country still imports some technologies. Last year, Iran traded around $1.5 billion worth of electronic technology. Of this amount, just over $200 million belonged to exports. $1.3 billion worth of electronic goods were imported in 2019. The US sanctions have bruised the tech sector, no doubt, mainly with regards to purchasing power. The United States isolation policies were a mixed bag for Iranian tech companies. In some ways, the sanctions have protected the Islamic Republic's tech sector. The isolating sanctions helped make the tech market one of the world's most promising emerging markets. And domestic startups were given a free run to develop within this secure market. The final prices of imported high-tech goods were so high that customers preferred to buy domestically manufactured goods. The government created policies with compulsory regulations to encourage domestic purchases. This resulted in major investment in research and development in many fields, which became profitable in the sanctions era. All right, it's time to see what my good friend and colleague has been up to out there on the field. Take it away and teach us all something new. For pure water to get to us every day, we depend in part on two different products. Gaskets prevent water from leaking out of the pipes, and aluminum sulfate makes it pure. Want to learn more about these products? Follow us. From the automotive industry to the oil industry, gaskets have a wide application. They can dampen sound and vibration, and prevent leaks in industrial applications. The CEO of Kimia Farovar tells us more. What's the application of gaskets? Gasket is a gasket for the 
چیزات ثابت یا استاتیک به کار میره همون کاری که واشقه لاستیکی در لوله کشی آب منزل انجام میدن گسکت همون نقش رو در صنایعی که سیال درشون وجود داره مثل نفت، گاز، پتروشیمی داره But regardless of their application, the story of gaskets begins with a blank sheet. Can you walk us through the production process? We usually have the first shape of the first shape. Or the shape of the shape of the shape of the shape. Or the shape of the shape of the shape of the shape. اینجا ما تجهیزاتی رو داریم مثل لیزر سی ان سی که کار برش اونها رو به اون شکلی که مد نظر ما هست انجام میدن بعد از انجام عملیات برش معمولا فرایند فرمدهی اون فلزات هست تغییر شکلشون هست و در نهایت دستگاه هایی رو داریم که اختصاصا برای ساخت اون مدل گسکت مثلا اسپرال وند استفاده میشن بعد از ساخت اون گسکت عملیات مونتاژ روشون انجام میشه و نهایتا بسته بندی گسکت The gasket starts as a simple sheet of stainless steel. It's then cut into the desired size using a laser gasket cutting machine and is now ready to take on two additional rings. In the past, asbestos sheets were used for making non-metal gaskets. But in order to prevent the consequent health risk of this mineral, it was replaced with graphite. Other gaskets are made with metal. در بخش فلزی عموما فولات های ضد زنگ مورد استفاده قرار می گیرند و خود کربن استیل در حال حاضر ما مجبوریم گرافیت و فولات های ضد زنگ رو از خارج وارد کنیم ولی کربن استیل توسط شرکت های داخلی قابل تامینه. Once the sheet of gasket is cut into the desired shape, it's ready to take on the filling. Here, a spiral gasket machine winds ribbons of graphite and steel to form the filling of the gasket. This filling is what prevents liquids from leaking outside the pipes. Manufacturing gaskets using the latest technology is an important achievement and is crucial for a country like Iran. Why do we need to produce gaskets in Iran? کشور ما کشوری که سرشار از منابع نفت و گاز و پتروشیمیه طبیعیه که صنایع وابسته به این منابع در ایران در حال گسترش و توسعه است در کنار این صنایع صنایع وابسته نیاز هستش که بتونه مواد اولیه و مورد کاربرد این صنایع رو تامین کنه بنابراین منطقی نیستش که گسکت به عنوان یک محصولی که کاربرد بسیار زیادی چه در هنگام ساخت و نصب این مجتمع ها مورد مصرف داره چه محصولیه که مرتب در هنگام تعمیرات مورد استفاده داره نباید همچین محصولی از خارج وارد بشه But making gaskets is not Kimia Farovar's only effort to render Iran needless of imports there is also the production of aluminum sulfate. Aluminum sulfate is another product of this company. Once it's dissolved in water, impurities will coagulate and settle at the bottom and out of the water flow. And here we have it all packed and ready to go. How is aluminum sulfate made? سولفات آلمینیوم در حقیقت یک ترکیبیه که برای تصفیه آب به کار میره یعنی کاری که میکنه اینه که تمام مواردی که جزء آلاینده های آب 
یا ایجاد سختی در آب میشن رو از آب حذف میکنه بنابراین هم در آب آشنا میدنی هم در تصفیه پس ها کار برد High quality aluminum sulfate has a desirable level of pH and active ammonia and very low levels of insolubles. And here's how it's made. Can you tell us how aluminum sulfates are made? Sulfate aluminum is from acid sulfuric and hydrate aluminum from the water and the water. تولید میشه تولیدش به صورت ذوب یا ملت که بعد از سرد شدن شکل کریستالی به خودش میگیره به این شکل و بعد از اینکه ما بر اساس نیاز مشتری اون رو دانه بندیاش رو ریستر میکنیم که قدرت و توان انحلال در آبش بیشتر بشه The Kimia Faravar Group plans to further advance its gasket manufacturing technology and use its full aluminum sulfate production capacity of 60 tons a day in order to increase its exports. Just as gaskets prevent the leaking of valuable liquid out of pipes, manufacturing them here at home prevents the draining of currency outside the country one gasket at a time. Okay, it is now time to look at some of the news and trends in this industry and its related trades. Iran has unveiled a couple of modern homegrown products in the fields of health and electronic transport, which will help reduce reliance on similar imported items. One of the products unveiled was a cochlear implant system, which meets one of the urgent needs of the hearing impaired. A cochlear implant system has two main components, the externally worn audio processor that detects sounds and sends them to the internal implant. The implant is surgically placed just under the skin behind the ear. Another product unveiled was a high-tech electric motor which could be used in electric vans and modern electric motorcycles. Iran is building its own globally competitive artificial intelligence supercomputer which is promised to be 100 times more powerful than the previous ones. My goodness! Iran's Minister of Information and Technology, Mohammad Javad Azari Jahromi, announced that the supercomputer project is now in late development stages. Jahromi advised that the supercomputer will be among the world's top 500 computers. He also underlined the country's progress in the development of artificial intelligence solutions. The Iranian supercomputer is due to be unveiled in February 2021. Supercomputers are used for fast computationally intensive tasks in various fields, including climate research and quantum mechanics. The COVID-19 pandemic is turbulent with rising cases and casualties across the country. It's so sad. But having said that, the coronavirus has encouraged the Iranian tech sector to help upgrade medical services. Domestic knowledge-based firms and startups have already started the process. They have created smart platforms for supplying telemedicine. Also, they have developed smart health platforms and remote care tools to help people cope with health conditions. Telemedicine has taken new significance in care. Remote treatment can be the best possible answer with the ever-rising need of health care. This is particularly true during the pandemic when hospitals, clinics and doctor's offices are streaming with patients. The Iranian tech sector is helping to boost the development of the digital health industry. Iran's healthcare sector offers considerable potential for digital growth. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. We surely hope you enjoyed the show. In case you didn't get to see the whole program, you can check out Bazaar on the Press TV website. Happy holidays again, everyone. I've been Samson Seas. Sees you next week at the same time.